Hello guys, in this lesson I'm going to show you how you can actually pause the test or in other words how to use implicit wait. In Puppeteer it's very easy. Basically let's say we go to the example.com and then we want to wait for 3 seconds before we actually call this assertion. So basically we want to put a pause here for 3 seconds. And to do it in Puppeteer we need to call a wait page dot wait and we want to use wait for function and here we can actually pass uh, basically any number we want in milliseconds so if i'm gonna give it 3000 this means the puppeteer will be waiting for three seconds or 3000 milliseconds before it actually moves to the next step so let's test it out let's npm run test Now we are waiting for 3 seconds and now we finished. And let's look that the test took around 5 seconds to finish. So let's now change it from 3 seconds to 10 and the test should be around 7 seconds longer. So let's try it. And now it's waiting. We are still waiting. And now we are finished. And as you can see, previously it took 5 seconds. We changed the wait for 10, with that 7 seconds extra. And now the test is taking 7 more seconds. So let me put it back to 3 seconds. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you want to use implicit wait or just pause the test for any specific amount of time, Remember, you can use await page that wait for and pass in the number which you want to wait. And that's it. It's pretty simple. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can actually work with browser. And the first command I'm going to teach you is how to reload the browser. So stay tuned for the next video.